YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer. We're back with Yacht Racer 2004. And my horses all just ran, so I'm gonna chill. Um, wait, I, I had... I had somebody... Who? One of these horses was slotted for the... Um, the Osaka Mile. Yeah. I think it was Happy Glory. Let me look at my spreadsheet to see if Happy Glory can run that. 8 to 10 on the... Yeah. They put Happy Glory for which race? Independence? 10 and a half? No, 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 no. We're going to stick to what AI actually did. Osaka Mile Cup. Green condition, but I think Happy Glory might be all right. Rough letter. Humorous Tiger. I don't know what to do with her. Uh, 9 to 12 still. Let's just go for this race at the end of the month. She should be fine by then. And Rough Letter will keep till then. Um, so we got the Osaka Mile here today. That we're going to do with Happy Glory. It's also this race in Paris. But we have to test negotiate. And uh, we don't. We probably don't have enough. We don't have enough points. And I, I do really want to save up my points. So I, I'm not really going to be doing too much of the. Too many of these races. Unless we can just request a horse. Um. Um, Sweet Leaf has a real hidden power. Let's check it out. Okay, not bad. Um, let's see. Can we negotiate? A tough opponent, but that then that is the business over odds. All right. See, we'll do like that. I'll negotiate, but I'm not actually going to request any horses until I've saved up quite a bit of my points. That's kind of the goal. So, um, ten and a half at Fuyoko. Perfect voice. The horse that we beat with a uh, rough letter let's go ahead and write it let's see what we can do and winner place yeah it's a good horse not surprising okay so we got a couple races here today so let's get right into it somebody wants to challenge me yes i will always race you my friend because you are such a good sport but your horse is way better than mine but i'll still race you anyways because who knows yeah, we'll still race him. He's a good sport, and that's still fun to race him. Okay, so it's a field of 12 here, and we're on Sweet Leaf. We just have to come over odds at this grade, too. Nice. All right, over odds with Sweet Leaf, and running position is... We got to get a great start, so let's see. Hopefully we can do that. My spreadsheet's all kind of unorganized right now. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Let's get a good start. Oh, perfect start. I thought I was going to overshoot it. Boom. Lovely. Now let's overtake this horse, please. We should be good. Yep. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. Oh, don't bump, don't bump, don't bump, don't bump, don't bump, don't bump. Get ahead of this horse, please. We're in decent positioning right now. I, I want to get ahead of this horse, but they're not really trying to let us overtake. It's fine. Actually, we'll stay right here because we're going to get a little bit of speed probably coming down this uh, straight. Yep, it's fine. Um, I'm okay right now. We just need to come over odds, which is better than 7th. 7th or better. So I'm not really pressed to be honest. I think we'll be fine. Okay, we'll see what we can do with this horse. So we're max stamina right now, which isn't terrible. Stamina is actually pretty high. And uh, we'll just kind of fan out here. Okay, let's just kind of get going. Oh, okay. Let's see if this horse has heart. Nope, lost that head to head. Maybe. And I don't know what we're going to do. The field is looking really weird right now. And yep. I got going too late. I've noticed I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been going, getting going way too late. Like way too late. Because I'm scared about tiring out with my stamina. You know. But I'm going way too late. And the field is passing me. And it's too late at that point. Unless the horde is unless the horse is really courageous. But I've noticed I've really been getting going way too late. I, I gotta do better at going sooner. 
Because we might be able to make it just to the end. Now, here's the Osaka Mile Cup. We will go through the full field. Tanaka is the favorite today. And I'm projected to come seven. So, not as much pressure. Let's go through the field, though. I don't know how we're going to... We're, we're going to probably come over odds. But I don't know if we're going to beat Tanaka. Anyways, we're on the 13. Happy glory today. Roman Speaker is the 14. My Curtis... Dooley is on the one. Only son. <laughs> Harris is on the two. Irish Tempest. Benton is on the three. Cosmic Oracle. Nelson is on the four. Native Chief. Angelo is on the five. Single Earth. Ross is on the six. Irish Danza. Ambro is on the seven. Cosmic Art. Hunter is on the eight. Odd Trigger. Nice name. Tanaka, our rival, is on the nine. And the favorite today in the... A furlong Osaka Mile Cup. Nine is Running Smile. Turner's on the 10, Happy Time. Ellis is on the 11, Dancing Trial. Collins is on the 12, Desert Hill. And we're on the 13. So we got to come over odds and beat Tanaka. Probably not doing both. We will try. We could. But over odds is the main thing. Placing in this Osaka Mile Cup with Happy Glory would be huge. But yeah, I got to get better at, at timing my spurts a lot sooner. I'm still waiting a little too late because I'm worried about stamina. But if I continue to do that, I'm constantly going to get passed up by horses who get going a lot sooner. So, and then I, you know, I have a better, I have a greater chance of losing the head-to-heads if I get going too late. So I got to keep that in mind as well. Okay, let's see. Great start. Beautiful start, and let's see how far we can get. Ah, crap. Did not see that horse. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, tough horse, though. Happy Glory's tough. It's not going to totally discourage him. All right. We got to move in. That 10 horse is still there. Because sometimes that really throws off a horse, and then some horses are so tough it doesn't bother them at all. But we got pretty good positioning here. Pretty good positioning. I'm content with where we're at. I'm just kind of going to tuck in right behind this horse. Let's go ahead and just get a little bit of a different angle. I'm going to try to do this more often until we get to like the actual front stretch. You know, just kind of give you guys a different uh, point of view. All right, let's move outside. Got to move up. Okay, let's keep moving. Looking good. Looking good. Let's go. I feel like we're going to tire out with stamina, but we'll see how far we can get. Here comes Tanaka. I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't do much worse with that start. Tanaka's going to fly up. We just need to finish better than seventh. Don't drop. We're in third right now. That's fourth. Fifth, sixth. Oh my gosh. You see, then that's what happens with stamina. We came seventh, so technically that's still considered a success, even though Tanaka did end up winning the Osaka Mile Cup here today with Running Smile. Or is that not considered completing the goal? I don't know. I thought as long as you came, I mean, I know for sure coming to place above it was the goal. Huh. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't count. And we're back to back here with Perfect Voice. We're the second favorite here today in the Grade 3 White Mountain. Special. We have to win or place with Perfect Voice. This horse is a front runner like most horses. I cannot stand that. Though the benefit of being a front runner is you don't have to worry too much about being blocked. Uh, I feel like I started my spurt maybe a little too early there and I gassed out at the end. So you see, it's still a good median you gotta find. But that's the beauty of this game and the reason why I love it. There's still so much I can do to improve. Like I said, I can't imagine. Like, I see people play Gallup Racer 2006 and it looks so easy because if you time a revolution, your horse is literally going like 120 miles an hour. It's, 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 it's a really unrealistic to me and I don't like it, which is probably why I'll never do a long-term series on Gallup Racer 2006. Because I think the revolutions makes the game unrealistic, you know what I mean? I, I, I really don't like that. This is much more realistic still. And I like the challenge. I like the fact that I can still lose races. I like the fact that I can still have bad days. And then I can sometimes have good days. And, you know, 
it's uh, it, it's what I personally enjoy most. If the game was just super easy where you could just tap into a revolution, go 120 miles an hour and blow the field out by 20 lanes. Like, what fun is that? And I get it. Maybe that's fun for some people. That's not fun to me at all. I like to win, but I want it to be a real challenge. And I want it to feel like it's a it's an earned win, you know? Getting a revolution and literally flying at the speed of a Formula One car is not rewarding to me in the slightest. This is not my cup of tea, man. All right, let's get going a little bit sooner. Now, you see, horses with good response, it doesn't take them long to get going when you urge them with the range, you know? All right. There we go. We're still looking good. Still looking good. Still looking good. Let's get inside. See what we can do here. Furby voice. Let's see if this horse can fly. I believe that it can. This horse can freaking fly. And we are good. We are absolutely good with perfect voice. Yep. You see, I can win. It's just, you know, the race, the horse, the field itself as far as the competition, the horse. There's so many factors that come in, obviously, to winning a race. It's not just as simple as just getting on a horse that's supposed to win. It all depends on what that horse's attributes and abilities are, whether they have good... We set a record! No way! We set a freaking record here with perfect voice. 212 and 2. Holy crap, that is awesome. I wish this could become a my horse. That is awesome, man. Record at Fuoka White Mountain Special. 212 and 2. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever set a record in this series, so that's kind of exciting, you know what I mean? Um, that's actually like really exciting. Wow. Set a record. Awesome. And that race was really nothing special. We got course laws, but I mean, we set a record, we won. So like I said, there's a lot of factors that come in to play when it comes to trying to win or at least do decent on a horse. You know, me as a jockey and then the horse's individual attributes. So, we did get some points for the Omile Cup. I mean, for the um, Osaka Mile. And uh, yeah, so I, I guess that, that kind of counted. I don't know. I won. Thanks to you, we shall race again. No problem, Tanaka. It was fun. That horse looks like maybe everything's a little bit much for it, huh? Well, don't get hung up on it. These things don't happen every time. I'm assuming he's talking about Happy Glory, which I'm not hung up on in anyways. So like I said, we're just going to request horses when we're um, racing. Humorous Tiger is ready, and I think, yeah, the race I got her for is the right race. Everybody else isn't, so... Let's see, the Princess Cup. Let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Now, we are in October, right? What is the Princess Cup the equivalent of? It doesn't say. Yep, it does not say. On my spreadsheet, interesting. Anyways, uh, let's see here. We can test negotiate. For a couple of these horses. Ten furlongs on the turf. So let's see who has good speed and stamina. I saw a 57. I see a 60 with Wild Dean. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Wild or Wild Eden, excuse me. 3,000 points. Alright, that's fine. Overrides, it's a Princess Cup. Still don't want to spend points, but I decided to do it in that case. Target required. This is for Silver Account. Uh, not a bad horse, pretty mediocre. We should be able to ride this one. Uh, three evaluations. We have to be over odds, position has to be Esther Moore, and we have to activate stretch ability. Uh, no thank you. That, that's a little too much. I forgot, we don't have a good relationship with her anyway, so I don't even care. Runaway Show has real hidden power. Looking at the stats, I see nothing that's impressive except for really nothing. Though, it's pretty much comfortable running anywhere on the track. So, let's go ahead and see if we can actually uh, negotiate for this horse. All right, over odds. Sheba, it's been a while. All right, so we got uh, three more races in this video. Let's get to it. And let's see what Sweeze and Gendul's here today. 
we are on runaway show we're expected to come 10th out of 12 so we have to beat two other horses to come over odds seven furlongs in the turf here in washington dc for the ivy special or the ivy stakes i don't know if it's stakes or special when it says s in this game no idea um most of the races in this gal racer spreadsheet s says stakes but they're not grade ones so i don't know whatever Ah oh, man, that was so slow. I wasn't expecting it to go like that. But you know what? That's fine. This horse is still pretty much comfortable running wherever. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, we don't want to bump. All right. I want to stay right here because if I tuck in too much in the in the field on the outside, kind of, um, you know, if these horses end up overtaking. We won't have any space to do anything. So kind of getting a different camera angle here. Looking pretty comfortable right now. Yeah, looking pretty comfortable. All right, let's go ahead and get a move. Can we go to the inside? We're kind of on the rough. Ah, move! It's like we didn't have a gap. Are you kidding me? It acted as if there was no gap there. Trying to move. Horse doesn't want to move. Get over. Get over. Stretch burst. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, we came fifth, I think. Six. Okay. Not bad. We could have done much better. I, I want. I, that was not the lane I wanted to run in the entire way, but I'll take it. There we go. Twelve hundred points. Easy. We potentially could have won that race. I, that was not the lane I wanted to run in at all, but it's all good. Princess Cup here with Wild Eden. We're expected to finish eighth. Okay, not too much pressure. I like it. See, I like not really being the favorite. It gives me flexibility. But she likes to run at the front, She, which means we got to get a really good start. As we always do for grade ones, let's go through the field. We're on the three, Wild Eden. The four is only you. The five is Flaring Pegasus. Six, Triple Blaze. Seven is Mild Tornado. The eight, Shake It Unicorn and the favorite in today's Princess Cup. The nine is Crimson Today. Ten, Desert River. Eleven, Mixed Wildcat. Twelve, Cosmic Charm. Thirteen, Fancy Club. Fourteen, Only One Express. The one is Blooming Virgo. Two is Secret Game. And we're on the three, Wild Eden. Let's see what horse is able to do today here in the princess cup that we just decided to race him because <laughs> the horses i have now uh except for happy glory i think is the only one that can really race in grade ones anyways from my understanding so i'm not really pressed about racing any of my more my horses in grade ones yet i want to do that for my foals that eventually grow up um once they get to two years old you know that's when i really care about it for the most part but, like, I don't personally care if my horse that I have can't race in a grade one or nothing. You know, that doesn't bother me. Okay, good start here. Good start, good start. We want to stay towards the front. Um, so, let's get up there. Let's get up there, establish some good position. Good positioning. I don't think this course has a rough, so we should be fine. Alright. This should be pretty good. Still have to watch the rest of the field, but this should be pretty good. Okay, they're moving up a little bit. Uh, come on now. Come on now. Either they really got themselves going fast, or we really started going slow. Okay, I don't like where I'm at. I'm not going to stay tucked in, because I know how this is going to go when we get to the uh, we get to like the final three and a half, three furlong marker. Some of those horses will fan out. The two to the inside of me right now, ahead of me, they're probably not really going to move. So I need to stay where I'm at right now. If they do move, then cool. I'll shoot right up the inside. Um, Alright, yeah. Let's, let's get really close here. 
That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. We just need something to open up somewhere. I don't know how. Okay, let's just go ahead and move. Yep, there we go. Shoot through. Shoot through. Shoot through. Ah, what happened? No. Oh, my goodness. Blocked completely. Are you kidding me? I wanted to shoot through that gap, and it's like the horse just stopped running. That's frustrating, man. No, move, move. Ah, oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, that's... Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. I literally... I literally was like, go. Go now. And it's like nothing happened. The speed didn't... Oh, that's so frustrating. That... I was fine. I was fine. I was going to shoot through that gap. And it's like the response didn't happen until two and a half seconds later. That's... Uh, that's... That's such a... That, that's a frustrating race to just not do well in at all because that shouldn't have happened. Gosh, man. It's... Ugh. I, I really... Uh, I really, really, really do hate that. Now we got the Prince Cup. 15 furlongs. Golly. Smooth Bronco is an interesting horse. Why don't you give it a try? Uh, I'll see. But that that's really frustrating. Like that, that shouldn't happen at all. And it did. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, he wasn't lying. Smooth Bronco looks pretty solid. Let's give it a shot. Top three for the Prince Cup here on Smooth Bronco, potentially. We'll do this race, and then we'll race on our two-year-old Philly Humorous Tiger, and that'll be the end of today's video. That really just... Oh, that annoyed me so much. We had potential. I wouldn't say win, but we could have definitely placed better than eighth. And we finished 13th. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is... Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, potentially I could have gotten going a little bit sooner, but i that's what I thought I was doing. And it's just like the response didn't happen. And the horse's response is fine, I think. Or maybe the response for the horse wasn't as good as I thought it. Maybe that's what happened. On to the next race. 15 furlong Prince Cup here in San Francisco. Field of 14. We're on the 14 smooth Bronco. The one in the favorite. Non-stop cannon in today's field. Two is Arrogant Dragon. Three is Scared Bear. Four, Nice Today. Five, Regal Glory. Six, Secret Midnight. Seven, only one brave. The eight, bio position. The nine, silver assets. Ten, stately glory. The eleven, local river. The twelve, hydro sherbert. Thirteen, royal silence. Ugh, trying to shake off that last race. That's just that's frustrating. Frustrating. I'd rather I'd rather us just tire out, not completely get blocked. And I know that's how races are ran in Japan and overseas a lot. Like there sometimes will be a huge spread of like seven or eight horses wide on the on the on the straight and it's actually really exciting to watch so i'm not mad at this game for that i'm just mad that like i literally was like horse go now horse i don't know maybe the horse's response was actually worse than i thought and that was actually why i didn't go i was gonna shoot through that gap i get blocked and we can't go anywhere like that is just the most frustrating way to, to lose a race because then you you just you lose a race because you're literally blocked from going anywhere. It's not even that the horse doesn't have the ability or the speed to do anything. It's the fact that you literally can't move. You can't bump horses out of the way. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's really frustrating. It's not like rival stars, okay? Rival stars, you can literally bump a horse out of the way if it's not in a... If you're not in the position you want to be in and you want to be somewhere else. If you want to be more to the inside, cool. Bump the horse to the next, to the, to the right or the left of you and it moves right out the way. These games are realistic. Rival Stars looks aesthetically pleasing and realistic, but when it comes to that gameplay mechanic, that's not realistic. Can't do that in this game. You can't just bump a horse and move it out of the way. We're not anywhere near where this horse wants to be, but I'm not going to tire it out. But if it wants to run, I'm going to let it run. I'm just not going to actually do anything with it. Man, oh man, oh man, that's that's so frustrating. I gotta shake it off, but like seriously, just ah. And I felt that horse had potential. You know what I mean? I, like I said, I don't know if we would have won, but we definitely would have placed better than eighth, which was our goal that we had to hit, and we couldn't even do that because we were freaking blocked. Maybe the horse's response literally was not good, 
and that's why I didn't respond when I told it to go but either way the response wasn't there and then the AI like usual blocked us so series of unfortunate events but that will not happen here today in the Prince Cup in fact I think we're, we're feeling I'm feeling really comfortable about where we are oh you want to speed up okay my bad bro my bad sorry there all right <laughs> I'm feeling confident and good about how we're running. There appears to be no rough on this course, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Top three. We have a chance to win here today, but I'm not going to get over-anxious or excited. I'm going to let the horse run. Okay, we got to get going right now. Get going, get going, get going. You going? Go, 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 go right now. 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 Ah, oh, man. It's a struggle. Smooth Bronco, though. This horse is tough. He's digging deep. He's digging deep. Smooth Bronco is digging deep. What can we do here? Come on, Smooth. Come on, Smooth. Look at this horse. This horse is digging. You got to be kidding me. What a bounce back. Man, oh man, that is such a great feeling. That is a great feeling. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. That is the perfect image for how I feel right now. Like, yes, we just won the 15 furlong Prince Cup. I never win long races ever, dude. Like, never. That was a tough race. We didn't even get the lead to almost the last furlong. I am saving that, if I can. I don't have enough. I have all these other races on here. I'm going to delete one of them. Uh, which one? I'll keep races with a couple horses I actually remember, like Bonnet Club, uh, Solid Train, Easy Traffic. I remember those horses. I'm going to get rid of this one. What a win. Oh, that's such a great feeling, especially with how the last G1 went for us. That is just, that is such a great, fantastic feeling, man. I just, you guys can't tell in my voice. That's like, I am just ecstatic at that win. What a win. What a freaking win. That's awesome. That, 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 that's, that's awesome. What a win for us and Smooth Bronco. Man, 11,000 earnings for G. Points-wise, 3,600. Fantastic win. And this should be the last race of this video. And we'll be racing on Humorous Tiger. We'll see what we can do with her today. <laughs> we'll see. But man, that's that that's such a great rewarding feeling from that tragic just train wreck of a race we had in the Princess Cup. To bounce back in the Prince Cup at 15 furlongs and win in the end. We're the favorite here today with Humorous Tiger. I gotta get it right. I gotta get it right. I know her response is very slow. Um, her braking is not good, so I gotta make sure I get her to the front very early. And just establish that position and make sure when it comes to the stretch, I don't go too late. Hopefully we do things right this time. We'll see. Not a good start. Ah. A beautiful start for who? Not me. <laughs> okay, got to get her to the front. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay, not, not not that much. See, this is what I mean. You're over anxious. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. I just wanted you to just not be way in the back of the pack. We got a long way to go with Humorous Tiger. As long as we're able to keep her, I think we'll be fine. And eventually we'll be like, remember those days where we just could not get it right with this horse at all? They're just Our chemistry was just not there. I feel like we'll be able to eventually say that. If we're fortunate enough to keep her and they don't take her away from me. We gotta win today. Not winning, I'll be disappointed. But um, 
yeah, I totally forgot how hard it is to race on a horse who doesn't respond to you at all. I was actually watching somebody. She hasn't uploaded Gallop Racer in years, but she also had the same issue. She was really good. I would tell you she was probably better at the game than me. And she's like, not much you can do with a horse that has a terrible response rating. You know what I mean? Okay, let's get going now. Let's get going now. Let's get going now. Let's get going now. We don't want to get beat in the head-to-head. -head. Let's roll. Good. Do not tire out. Do not tire out. Just go. Go. Come on, humorous. Come on, humorous. Finish strong, baby. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Just got it. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Stamina definitely hurt us. I We got going good, but maybe a little too soon. Maybe a little too soon. Of course, on the back stretch, I, she went way faster than I wanted to. Wanted her to to try to catch her up, but we finally got a win with her. So she, she's still tricky. That response time, man. She's still tricky, but you know what? I'm so excited to work with her. I really feel like she's going to come into her own probably around the age of four. I feel like we'll probably be much better with her, maybe even next year. I still feel like it's going to take half a year to a year for us to really be in groove with this horse. But that is a good win, and uh, we needed that. Fantastic. We needed that with Humorous Tiger. I'm really excited to work with her, and I'm happy I got her in Rough Letter. It's two-year-olds. I'm really happy to be working with these horses and to see what we can do with them in the future. In the future. 3,700... How do we get more points for a race like this? In the Prince Cup, we only got 3,600. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? How? 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 I don't get it. <laughs> how? In a grade one, we get 3,600. In a, a race like that, not even remotely close, we get 37. Doesn't make sense. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I genuinely just don't know what the reason is. But ladies and gents, on that note, that will end today's episode. Good. I'm still a little sour about that one race, but winning the Prince Cup, obviously, uh, that was a great, great, great bounce back that I needed. Um, so still improving, still trying to do better. I really like the two new um, two-year-olds we got with uh, the Philly Humorous Tiger and Rough Letter the Cult. And I'm happy to see what we can do with them as we go forward. Um, a couple months, guys. I think our first fall will be born. Just a couple of months. We're going to have our first fall born. I am really happy for that. And we'll be breeding Bionic Club and Skabot uh, as well. So that should be really exciting. In just a couple of months. And I think it'll be year nine? Year nine for us? It's crazy. Nine years as a jockey in this game so far. It's been a, it's been a joyous ride. And uh, we still have so much to do. We haven't even probably gotten close to halfway of what we can really achieve in this game. Anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Appreciate you guys' love and support as always. And we will be back with some more horse racing content on this channel very soon. Horse Racing Gamers. Now, until next time, we have a great and fantastic day. See ya. And goodbye.